you look really good. <laughs> if you don't say so yourself. Yeah. I know I'm late. It's 8.22 on, uh, what's today, buddy? Uh, yeah. Today's Monday. 14th. Monday the 14th, and I'm late. But if you guys know me and you've been following me, you know that my number one core value is to be a better father to these kids than my father was to me. So I was at an event with my oldest and my second oldest tonight. That's what put me late on the stream. So apologize for being late. Yeah, we are double teaming here. This is my youngest, the juicer. Hi guys. And um, tell me why you're on the stream tonight. Well, if you watch the previous stream from yesterday, you would know that I was trying to promote myself to my dad's podcasts and doing all this. So basically, what I was going to do, I got a lot of new followers. You did? And I just want to say thank you to everyone. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Hey, how can people follow you on Instagram if that's what they'd like to do? Because that's really what you're looking for. You want some more followers, right? Yes. So it's what you got? Julian underscore Monero. Mm. I don't know why it's an underscore. I didn't really want it to be, but I just clicked space and it like kind of made it. Mm. That's just how it played out for yeah. you? Mm. So what does somebody get if they follow you on social? Like, what's the value that you bring to an audience for them to follow you? Well, just like I was saying in the last podcast, um, I bring awesome adventures to the situation. Um, you can see this guy on there a lot. Well, not yet because I just started four days ago. And um, you can catch up with my life and watch me go hunting, shoot hogs, kill deer. Kill deer. Kill deer. You haven't shot a deer yet. You mean in maybe in the future? In, in the future. Oh, I got you're visualizing the future. Yeah. Rough Creek this weekend. I don't know about that. We got some games and stuff, but I'm not against it. So anyway, this is my youngest son, Julian the Juicer Monero, and he's fishing for followers. So if you guys get a chance, hit him up on Instagram at Julian underscore Monero. He seems to be. Uh, keeping track of everyone that's following. I'll be looking. He'll be looking. If you follow me, I'll definitely give you a shout out. Oh, you'll follow back? I, I will follow back. Oh, it's a follow for the follow tonight, it's huh? It's a follow for the follow plus the shout out. You'll give so if you follow me, it's basically a win-win situation for you. Oh, right. Wow. You really know how to hit them with the value add, kid. Good work. Kendra Kendra from my office joined. Mm -hmm. How are you? She says, what's up, Juicy Juice? Mm -hmm. What's up, Kendra? So, guys, thanks for being on here. I appreciate it very, I very much. Are you rolling? Yeah, I want to let you do your thing. All right, big boy. All right, bye, now. love you. All right, love you too. Hey, pick that helmet up for me. Oh. Let me see that. Yeah, let's put that right here. Bye, guys. All right, thanks, Juicer. So, guys, sorry I'm late, but I appreciate all you guys um, jumping on tonight. I hope everybody's doing great. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Matt Monero. Uh, I uh, run a company in Dallas, Texas called Commercial Fleet Financing, and we finance truckers. And we have financed well over a billion dollars worth of those truckers, tens of thousands of them over the last 23 years. And I started the company from zero in a dumpy one-bedroom apartment with a phone and a folding table and no money. And every day for who knows how long, all I did was this, making money, not making money, making money, not making money, making money, not making money, just cold calling my way out of a yellow pages until I was able to build some form of a customer base that could then allow us to reinvest some profits and begin to hire people, which is what we did. And we now have an incredible team at Commercial Fleet Financing. Uh, some of the most amazing people that walk the planet, as well as fantastic people who want to help you finance trucks. But uh, you can find us at cffnationwide.com. Last year, we did $158 million bucks. I'm the author of two books. Uh, this is my latest one, You Need More Money, and my other one, The Grit. This self-published book, this one was published by Penguin. Both of these are available on Amazon, and every night for the month of January, I come to you at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time to try to bring you some value, to try to unpack some things that are going on in my mind in an effort to help you get your business from here. This is not here. I'm not great at helping you go from nothing to something. I'm really better when you've got something 
and I can help you turn it into really something. And one of the things that I know is happening um, with everybody is, you know, we've already given up on these New Year's resolutions. I think most people are probably already saying, oh, man, um, I thought it was going to be different, man. I thought 2019 was going to be different. I set it up. I watched all the YouTube videos. I saw all the gurus. They all told me what to do to set my resolutions. And this year was, oh, no, wait a minute. It's Groundhog Day all over again. It's that same shit. It's that same disgruntled employee. It's that same lack of movement. It's that same inability to make the cash flow machine ring. Man, I know the feeling of it. So I wrote a little giveaway that I'm giving away everybody, an ebook, and it's called Nine Ways to Get Refocused. It's yours free tonight. You can go to getrefocustoday.com, get refocused today. And it's the topic of tonight's stream. We're gonna go through these quick nine steps a couple of these steps are things that you may not understand or have heard before. It's just my way of always staying focused on how do we keep the, the needle of success moving? How do we keep the throttle down, tapped down? And you can get the ebook, the quick booklet. It's a simple 12 page booklet. It's my gift to you free of charge. I wrote it. It's called getrefocusedtoday.com. Get refocused today. And we're going to go through it right now. Um, by the way, I'm wide open for questions. If anybody has questions, I'm happy to answer them on any topic. There is literally no question off limits. If you want to jump on the stream on Instagram, I'm happy to bring you on. I'd love to bring you on. I just need you to comment what it is that you want to talk about. I'm not looking for haters to jump on the stream. I only want people who are hashtag like-minded, wanting to get better night overnight through work and through some enjoyment and through some fun. So that's why I do this. Um, again, no question off limits. We got a couple questions that are popping up already on both uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook. I appreciate the hearts and the likes. If anybody wants to share the stream, it means a lot to me. It really says a lot more about you than it does about me. It means that you're not willing to be a squirrel hoarding your little nuts. You're willing to share it out to your universe, and that helps me. Um, it helps me help more people, and it also helps me grow my audience. I'm going to fire up a couple uh, uh, questions right now. And then remember, it's getrefocusedtoday.com to get the free nine-step booklet that I wrote and I'm giving away tonight. Um, uh, we've got one here from JR. JR says, what bad recommendations you hear in your business? Bad recommendations you hear in your business. I think I understand your question. And probably the biggest uh, bad recommendation I got, the most bad recommendation I got in the early years um, were things like uh, don't trust anybody. Don't trust employees. They're all going to screw you over. It's just not true. You can't grow a business if you don't trust people. Another one was uh, only one hand works the register, meaning, uh, you know, you got to control all the accounting and the the cash and the checks and all that sort of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds like great advice. And then I started thinking about it. I'm like, wait a minute. The guy who just gave me that advice owns a, a grocery store and he's been working the register by himself for 50 freaking years. You got to think about where is this advice coming from, gang? Who's giving you the advice? Are they really successful people? Another lousy thing I got, which I followed up on, was um, – was most businesses must buy their building because they'll make more money when they sell the building than they will when they sell the business. I mean, give me a give me a wave if you've actually heard that before, if someone's actually told you that bullshit. What a joke. What an absolute joke that commentary was. But guess what I did? I went and I bought a little building. I said, geez, this sounds like good advice. I better buy a building. You know what happened? For eight years, we were crammed in. We were like little little hens tucked in there. We couldn't expand. We couldn't do anything. And I was like, hey, we're building equity in the, biz in the building. This will be great. What a mistake. Gosh, it took me to get out of that business before the business actually began to scale. How can you hire people when you're pinned in like this, right? How can you grow it? How can you expand it? How can you have the freedom? By the way, there's so many other things that go into ownership other than, than the debt service is just one of them. But what about when the roof leaks? What about when the plumbing breaks? You're the one who's got to be responsible for that. So you end up 
not focusing on the goose that lays the golden egg, you end up thinking that you're in the real estate business when you should be in your business, growing it, scaling it, make it work. So a little bit of a long uh, winded, a little bit of a long winded answer to your question, JR. Um, but that's it. JR is a follow up question that says, when you feel overwhelmed on focus, you lose, what do you do? Dude, you go to get refocused today and download my free booklet, man. Ain't you been listening? Get refocused today is where my ebook lives. It's totally free for you. It's nine steps to get refocused. I'd love you to have it tonight. It's my gift to you. Um, let's keep rock and rolling. Um, I rented my space before I sold my company, says I true can. Sounds like a smart decision. Um, J Jimbo Carroll just put in the comment section, get refocused today. I love it. Uh, that's funny. Welcome to Get Refocused Today. Get Refocused Today is the web site. Let me double check that I didn't make a mistake there. If anyone else had trouble to it, go there for me and double check. It shouldn't be a problem because I tested it earlier and I downloaded it myself at Get Refocused Today. But if anyone else has had a trouble with that, let me know and I will work on that. Um, but I wanna go through what those nine steps are. Everybody can get it for free, get refocused. Let me just double check here, I wanna make sure. Getrefocusedtoday.com, getrefocusedtoday.com, it just popped up, and there it is, that's your free, um, that's your free landing page. Get refocused today. So the link does work. Get refocused today. Let's talk about it real quick. Because I know that the, one of the biggest problem that people have is their inability to get refocused or focused in the first place. And we end up, we end up just following these shiny ball moments all the time. It's like our whole life is built around reacting to what happens because we just can't get focused on the prize. And I can tell you that one of my goals for 2019 is to re, and I was just talking to my business partner, Rick Sapio about this today. We were talking about what are our 2019 goals. And one of my primary 2019 goals is to really understand how do the super rich think? Like I'm not talking about people with a couple million bucks. I'm talking about what is somebody that has 500 million in net worth or 250 million in net worth or a billion dollars in net worth. What do they think about? How do they frame their thought processes to things? And my business partner in business finishing school, Rick Sapio, was talking about Rick has been fortunate enough. He's had a, he's an incredible network of people. He spent time with over 40 billionaires in his business career. And he said one of the common factors is their ability to be incredibly focused on the mission at hand. In fact, he was telling me a story of, of how one of his friends uh, will basically spend three months at a time on one idea. So over the course of the year, the guy will literally only work on four ideas. Three months at a time, one quarter apiece, four ideas for the entire year. Ask yourself that question, how many ideas are you working on, right? I bet you got tons of them. But one of the secrets of the uber rich is they work on very, very few ideas and they focus tremendously. So let's talk about focus in the booklet. I'm sorry for those guys who are saying they're having a little trouble with it. I mean, I just pulled it up. It's get refocused today. I apologize for that, guys, but it worked on my phone. Um, and then we did have a couple people, uh, I true Ken said it worked over on Instagram. So let's try it again. Getrefocused.com. Here we go. The number one thing to get refocused in 2019 is remember when your ass was broke. Dude, I'm talking like baby needs medicine and you don't got the money for it. I'm talking about no food in the fridge. How am I going to eat broke? When you start to remember those days of being busted ass broke, can I get a wave from somebody who remembers what it's like being busted ass broke? I mean, tapped like don't know how you're going to put gas in the car, like maxed out on all the credit cards, no cash. You're putting $2 in. You're like waiting for the line at the, at the gas station to like go away. And then you go up to the counter and you're like $2 on pump four, please. So nobody hears you that you're only putting two bucks in two bucks. You're doing the math in your head. You're like two bucks 
at two dollars a gallon and my car gets 20 miles to the gallon that'll get me 20 miles down the road yeah i should be able to go to work and back and then i'll I get that buys me 24 hours to figure out how i'm going to put gas in my car i'm talking busted ass broke that's one fast way to get totally refocused on where you're going because one of the problems is when we start to get a little flush when we start to have a little change when we start to have a little cash we take our eye off the focus ball we actually think we can start focusing on other things. What we need to do is stay totally focused on how broke is broke and how do I get better? When you have that level of intensity, that helps. Cool. A lot of people are telling me that the uh, site is working, so I appreciate that. I appreciate that, you guys. Yeah, www.getfocusedtoday.com. Um, so let's keep, <laughs> let's keep rocking and rolling. Number two, you got to see your future, man. I mean, today isn't where it's going to be, right? It's going to get better down the road. You believe that, right? You have that confidence in yourself, right? You know that today, where you are today is not how your life finishes. Well, sometimes when we got to get focused again, we got to spend time seeing it. You got to literally close your eyes, kick your feet up, and spend time every day visualizing what your future is going to look like. Let's go to number three, absolutely one of my favorites. We interviewed somebody today for one of my businesses, and the key question I asked her was, who you watching, who you reading, and who are you listening to? It's a big question, man. And obviously, you guys are watching and listening and, and uh, learning from me here um, tonight, so I congratulate you for it, and I'm grateful for you guys with the exchange. But absolutely when it's time for you to get refocused you got to ask yourself who am i watching who am i reading who am i listening to and how often do i do it in, in the background you can see just literally a fraction of the books that i uh, have this is at my home office i double that in my bedroom as well as my office at commercial fleet dude i'm a, I'm a freakazoid for this content i want to take it in all the time i at least listen to at least an hour a day of either audiobooks or podcasts or even YouTube videos to and from my office. So uh, I'm a freakazoid for who you watch and who you listen to and who you read. This next one is different for you. I hope the first one was different. Remember when you broke, nobody's talking about that. But the, the fourth one is, I need you to figure out who your ideal client is. Literally, what is the avatar? What is the criteria of your ideal client? One of the reasons you're having trouble focusing is because you are you do not know who you should be targeting your focus on. In fact, you're working with all types of customers. You've become a jack of all trades and a master of none, and you will never get rich thinking like that. The focus of who is your ideal client. I'll give you an example, and you may have heard this before. At my company, Commercial Fleet Financing, our ideal customer is what we call a five five, seven. They have five years in business. They have five trucks in their fleet and the owner has a 700 plus credit score, a five, five, seven. That is our ideal customer. That is our avatar. That is the type of person that we want to do business with. And when we know that that is our ideal customer, guess what? We get very focused on going into the marketplace with tremendous force and energy and effort. And we find that customer. But if you don't know who your ideal customer is, you spend your days looking and wondering. Maybe, in, a, in fact, I talk about it in this book, The Grit, where you end up being the bear at the end of the stream. If anybody's read this book and you know the concept or the story that I'm talking about, about being the bear at the end of the stream, do me a favor, give me a wave, give me a shout out. Tell me you're hearing me, man. Don't be afraid to put out an amen neither. Amen ain't bad either. Uh, Let's keep moving to the next one. One, two, three, four. Number five of the nine is you got to fish in the proper pond. Where are you getting your leads from? So you can know that when you're putting energy into finding your ideal client, that you're actually searching for them in the right spot. Literally, where are you getting your lists from? Where are you getting your data from? Who the hell are you calling? Who are you trying to do business with and where do you find them, right? If I sold yoga apparel, I wouldn't want to be going necessarily to the uh, Longshoreman's uh, lunch break spot uh, down in Long Beach. I'd rather be going to a yoga studio. And maybe what I would do is 
is set up my wares outside the yoga studio at four in the afternoon, five in the afternoon, six in the afternoon, when people who just finished yoga would come on out and see my stuff, right? You've got to fish in the right pond. Let's keep rocking and rolling. I've talked about this. How do you achieve big goals? And everybody's talking about how to dream so big. And we even talk about it in, in, in my environment called BHAGs, these big, hairy, audacious goals. But what people don't talk about is you achieve the big, hairy, audacious goals by daily micro goals. And you need to set these daily micro goals, these small goals. I'm going to get to the gym. Well, then when you get to the gym, maybe you'll work out. But if you make excuses on why you won't go to the gym, it won't play out like that. Daily micro goals are the way that you achieve. Look who's back. He just wants to make sure you know him. He wants to make sure that you followed him on Instagram. The juicer. Give me that. Give me that. Um, give me that. What's your symbol again? Julian underscore underscore Monero. Julian underscore, underscore Monero, Monero on Instagram. All right. He'd like you to follow him. That would be nice, wouldn't it be? Yes, but I got to say one thing. Come on. What you not got? Interrupt, You're all right. It's not begging. It's getting to know your environment. That's how I like to think of it. Thank you all. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. Let's keep rocking and rolling. I need you to get focused through intention. Maria followed you, big guy. Thank you, Maria. What is the intention for the communication? How many people pick up a phone call and they say something like, hey, just touching base with you. Wanted to see if you're in the market. Dude, nobody cares about that anymore. No one was waiting for your phone call to ask them if they were in the market. What they are waiting for is your phone call that says, you know what, Mr. Jones? Uh, my company does extensive research on our ideal customer. And what I found is you are the ideal customer that qualifies for our low cost financing programs. That is the reason for my phone call to see if you're in the market to buy so that I can offer you the lowest rates and payments in the industry. Now that is an intention for the phone call, but ask yourself how many people are making the phone call that says just following up? How many people on your staff just following up? How many people go on outside sales calls or visits with a prospect just thought I'd drop on by? Dude, people are busy, especially people with money. Real customers who run real businesses are busy, so you better have an intention for your action. It's not just, I know I'm talking about sales tonight, but the reality is what is the intention of the action? What is the desired outcome of the action? What is the intention of the call? Two more. I want you to start making more promises. I want you to pontificate. I want you to project the future as it's going to happen for you. I want you to promise people that, Mr. Jones, you'll hear from me at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. You know, Mr. Jones, I'll have that quote to you by the end of today. You know, I will be at the gym in the morning at 6 a.m. I promise you I won't smoke that cigarette tonight. I promise you I won't drink tonight. You have to start making more promises so that you can put yourself out there to be held accountable by other people. And then you have to deliver on the promises. That's how you create that new habit. That new micro goal occurs when you make promises and then you deliver on them. Now, here's the big thing that some people might freak out about. You have to do all of this stuff for one week straight. Not three weeks, not 21 days, not a year. Just do it for one damn week. That's all. Just make some promises, just fish in the right pond, just have intention, just remember when you were broke, just visualize your future, just do it every day for one week. And I promise you, those neurons will start to fire off again and you'll begin to say, man, I might be able to do this, man. I might actually have this in me. Holy mackerel, did my focus improve. Go to www.getrefocustoday.com, get these nine steps, it's my gift for you. Let's move to questions on both uh, Instagram and Facebook. Eric White says, Julian needs a podcast. He's the best, man. He's the best. So let's rock and roll. 
any question doesn't matter you know I prefer business questions because I am a business guy but I'll talk about anything so on Instagram if you want to jump on the stream happy to bring you on just put it in the comment section shares likes guy by the way do me a favor guys um, if you download this tonight I'll enter you I'll take your email address and I'll put you in my email chain my grit email chain and you'll get notified about uh, when I le release new podcasts, information on my business finishing school, which I should mention that uh, in February. By the way, unbelievable last seven days of ticket sales for the business finishing school growth summit. Phenomenal numbers. I would love you to be part of it. Go to bfssummit.com, bfssummit.com. If you, I'm going to put it in the uh, links here, bfssummit.com, and use my code. Matt, M-A-T-T, -T, capital M-A-T-T, -T, 400, and you will get that discount tonight. I got to get rid of this discount. My, my team at Business Finishing School is giving me a hard time about it. They're like, I don't understand why we keep giving out this discount. I'm like, because I want to reward people for taking time to be with me on the streams. I want to give them some. Corky's going to be there. I love it, man. That's awesome. Again, guys, get refocused today. Let's talk about one of your focus problems. What do you got? What is one of the focus problems that has already started to creep back into your business or your life in 2019? You thought it was going to go away. You hoped it was going to go away in 2019. Oh, my gosh, it's back. You thought you'd handled that, right? You thought that it had changed. Uh, David, I'll take a look at that. If you want to email me, David, that link, that would be better for me. It's mmonero at cffnationwide.com. If you email me that YouTube leak, I'll check it out for what this testimony is that you're referencing, David. I appreciate you jumping on, but I'd rather get it um, off of uh, my email, mmonero at cffnationwide.com. we got a question here. Obviously, you built your business over a long period of time. What strategies do you use to avoid being burned out? Dude, you need teammates. You need accountability partners. You need big vision for it. You need a why, you need your core values. The reason I was late on tonight's stream is because my number one core value in my life is to be a better father to my children than my father was to me. And I had an event to be with two of my boys, my oldest and my middle tonight, and the event ran long. I knew I was gonna be late with you guys. I didn't wanna be late with you guys, but I'm so crystal clear on my number one core value in my life that I wasn't gonna leave it to uh to come on to meet the eight o'clock even though other times in this month i have left events when i was there with my children or my family i left a football banquet early i left something else early but tonight i needed to be there so that's why i'm late get those core values dialed in dude we work on that at business finishing school big time another question from aaron when and when not to show off success not 100 percent sure i think you might be saying where and when not to show off success uh people want to do business with successful people man so you know you don't need to not show off your success if you drive a nice ride great if you fly first class great if you got a nice watch great if you dress sharp great dude people want to do business with successful people i would challenge you never play down always play up it's a huge factor by the way I was against a lot of that stuff, you know? Um, I mean, only recently have I actually began to, to, you know, to drop some cash commensurate with my cash. I was against that. I thought that, um, you know, um, keep a low profile, man. And, and uh, you know, don't, 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 don't make anyone think that you're actually as confident as you are or as successful as you are. How does that sound? Does that sound about as dumb as you could possibly sound? But I thought that for way too long. So, dude, if you got it, flaunt it, man. Show it off. I'm not a big fake it till you make it guy. I really don't buy into that. I'd much rather see you with tremendous transparency. That is one way that you move up the food chain in your network, that you get around highly successful people, is when you are totally transparent with those guys. They smell the bullshit coming a mile away. Let's keep rocking and roll. Um, Chase says, Matt, a few months ago, you gave me some advice for my marketing company. I'm 16 and wanted to let you know that we're projected to be a $40,000 a month by the end of the year. You've made 3,500 bucks this month. Congratulations, my brother. Sounds nice. I hope you're still getting your grades done, my brother. Right? That's good stuff, man. I appreciate you, you giving that shout out here. 
Uh, Matt, I appreciate your posts. I'm no longer broke. Can you talk about the mindset of moving firmly into accumulation? Well, the first thing you got to do to get into accumulation, what Anthony's talking about is what's in my book. I talk about the three phases of wealth, broke, accumulation, and rich. And uh, what he's talking about is this middle phase called accumulation. Everybody should get this book right here. Everybody should get this book. It's available on Amazon. Everybody should get this book. And in fact, you shouldn't just get one, dude. You should buy a bunch of these books and hand them out to people. Hand them out to your parents, to your brothers, to your sisters. Jack, you want to jump on the street for some followers too? Come here. This is my middle son, Jackie. <laughs> you want some followers too, kid? Um, yeah, I'll take some. I'll what take What's your name on Instagram? It's Jack Dominero. Oh, you're a dot too, not just straight across. Uh, How you doing, kid? Very good. Good, good, good. All right, buddy. Thanks for being on. Chase got a 4.9 GPA. Dude, that's pretty damn strong. I'm not even sure how you get a 4.9. I didn't know it went up that high. I thought it stopped at 4.9. How's Chase got a 4.9 GPA? I thought it stopped at 4. Did it stop at 4? Unless you did all AP. What? You don't know about GPAs? Oh, no. I know all about GPAs. What, what's going on with your GPA? Chase got a 4.9. Yeah, what's your GPA? My GPA is out of the blue. Out of the blue. It's like a 5.6. 5.6. Oh my gosh. I Hold just on. followed um this guy named this guy named Rico. My man Rico. Your man Rico. That's I gave good. him a shout out. That's good. 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 Mm -hmm. So how do people follow you again, kid? I'll say it again. <laughs> it's Wait, Julian you, underscore Monero. Mm, on Instagram. On Instagram. All right, buddy. If you want a shout out. Chase says it's weighted. Good for you, Chase. I like that, man. That must mean you're in AP classes, I guess. Congratulations, my brother. Good stuff. Um, again, looking for any other questions that you guys got. I may have missed a few here. Um, how has failure set you up later for success? Do you have a fail favorite failure? Dude, I got so many failures, it's hard to even remember. But I, I have to tell you, man, I don't spend any time looking back. I just think it's a wasted thought process. It's a wasted emotion. I spend no time looking backwards. I only spend time thinking forwards. But, dude, I got tons of failures, tons and tons of them. But, I honestly, I don't even remember that many of them. I mean, I blew it. I started businesses dumb, lost all my money a couple times on businesses. Just, just not being focused, my brother. Again, www.getrefocusedtoday. That's my ebook giveaway to you guys for tonight. So, guys, I'm going to jump back in with the boys. Um, I appreciate everybody jumping on the stream. Can't wait to help you in any way that I can. Remember, getrefocusedtoday.com. Download the nine tips. Um, pass them out to your office. Pass them out to that person in your office who you're already starting to see fall down on their um, – on their New Year's resolutions, help people get refocused by this um, by this quick ebook, and um, and stay in the fight, man. Don't get unfocused. Stay focused. I love y'all. I'll see you tomorrow night at um, 8 p.m. Tomorrow night would be Tuesday, so we'll catch up tomorrow night. Take care, everybody. Bye.